What is up, it's Nintendo64 Austin, and today I decided to do something a little bit different. Today, I'm going to go over my reissue games, and what you mean, and what you mean by reissue is greatest hits, player's choice, and Nintendo Selects games that I have in my collection. Now, you're probably going to ask the reason why I don't have the original um, re releases is because um, I've tried to get the um, original original release of the of whatever game I get. It would just screw me up, and I it it, just, it would be expensive, so I had to get it for cheap. I mean, like um and. Yeah, that was actually the first time I did when I got Super Mario 3D Land, the Nintendo Selects Edition. That's 20 to 30 bucks. But I actually got it for like $15, which is fairly cheap. But ever since then, I've collected Greatest Hits, Player's Choice, and um, of course, Nintendo Selects games. And I'll be talking a little bit more about that. So let's just go ahead and get started right here. So, PlayStation ever since, um, uh, um, dropped down the price, which, which they did reissue their games called Greatest Hits, and what you mean by Greatest Hits is because, um, is when the game was originally released, they had, the, play, the PS1 games had, had a black background with all these lines go over there, like those gray lines coming over there and it, and it will have full co color artwork of the disc but the greatest hits one um has a green label on it but the old, but and another difference is the disc the disc is no longer is no longer a full color it's just black and white or it's just the regular uh, cd artwork with just a black or white text and that's about it but with the ps2 and ps3 they changed the green to a red back um band with ps2 or ps3 and right on the bottom it would say greatest hits and on the bottom of the disc it would the ps2 and ps3 um a color of the logo is now red and not black like like the original released but yeah this one is Namco Museum Volume 3 I actually got this greatest hits one and here's another greatest hits game I got which is Siphon Filter 2 and the same thing with multi disc jewel cases and if you ever get a Greatest Hits multi disc jewel case game. It will be very different. You actually get a green label manual with a black and white disc right here, or maybe just a silver background with black text with the PS1 logo in white and a black background. So there's that. And here is another one that I got. This one is Wii Sports. And as you can see, this this is actually very different. It's not in a silver foil form like my other Wii games has some silver foil form. And the rated E for everyone logo is not a silver form. And the same thing for the official Nintendo seal and the Dolby logo right there. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but make it focus. There we go. And yeah, this is actually one of my first Wii games I've ever got with the Wii and so far um and so far the first Nintendo Selects game I got which was Wii Sports, not Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, that was that was by mistake. So there's that. Now I'll get to my 3DS games that are also Nintendo Selects, which is Kirby Triple Deluxe. Um, the, the, the difference with Nintendo Selects 3DS games 
is that you don't actually get a Nintendo Selects um label of the of the 3DS cart. You just get a original label, which is very weird. Let me open this up. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, here it is. And you also get a view the game manual. Here is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Also Nintendo Selects. And the same thing. Um, I don't know why Nintendo um, put these old cartridges in the new packagings. But yeah. There is that. Super Mario 3D Land. Which I got from Amazon. God. There we go. Once again, you get a view the game manual, not an original manual, but you also get a oh, an older version of the cartridge and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. And the the few of my 3DS games I have, which which has a little crest on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there you go. Which indicates that is a Nintendo Selects reissue or re-release. So, there's the original cartridge and you get your view of the game manual. I don't understand why they did with the manual and not the cartridge. Thanks a lot, Nintendo. And here's the only PS4 game I have that is PlayStation Hits, not Greatest Hits, which is Batman Arkham Knight. And this is actually in a Blu-ray case, which I am definitely re replacing that with a original PS4 case, because I don't even want to make. I don't even want my games mixed in with Blu-ray cases with a cover art being longer. So yeah, there's that. So that is basically all the reissue games that I have in my collection. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this kind of a uh, weird video, and I will see you all next time. This is Nintendo sixty four Austin saying signing out and peace. And also stay tuned for the Nintendo Switch collection too. That's coming like in the next two days. So bye guys.